Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Leo for August 2014. This forecast is so exciting. It continues the excitement that has started in July. If you haven't listened to my July reading, then you definitely want to do that because it talks about a trend to come and not just July. So it will be current for the whole year. But before I get to the reading for August, there are some administrative things that I want to talk about quickly. So definitely stick with me because I promise it will be worth it. This is such an outrageously awesome time for Leo's and you'll want to know all the details. Okay, so if you've been listening to my videos for a while, you will notice that I have some technical difficulties. That of the gifts that I was born with, technology is not one of them. I've been kind of thrown into this arena, and in order for me to do my work on the level that I'm supposed to be doing, I have to figure out what the heck is going on with technology. So right now, you probably hear my fan running in the background. I have tried to troubleshoot this every which way over time, and came to figure out during the time of these retrograde personal planets over the last 10-ish months that I just need a new device for recording, and so I'm going to get one. So I wanted to let you know that this will probably be the last month <clears throat> that I have to use this fan running device thing. And it's a good chance I might be mobile, so you can look at things other than this wall. Okay, second point is if you have not already done so, go sign up for my free email newsletter now. People on my email newsletter list, and you can do that on my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video. People on my email newsletter list are my VIPs. You will have access, first access and sometimes only access, to so many cool things that I'm doing, things that I put together. I'm putting a new website up here pretty soon, and I'll have really awesome blogs, and you will stay tuned with these things as well as other free events and other things through my email newsletter list. This is the best way that I can, uh, you can keep track of these things and have access to them. So definitely do that, and you receive a free gift. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can also check that out on my website, which may be brand new by the time you listen to this. So that happens at the end of July, beginning of August, and my new website will be up. Okay, so now we can talk about all of the exciting things. So first of all, happy birthday to most of you. Um, and if you have an early Leo birthday and you're listening to this early, then happy birthday to you too. Most of the Leo birthdays will take place in August, but in any case, you will have an open portal for your desires to be fulfilled. Jupiter is the great expander. Jupiter expands everything it touches. Jupiter is in your sign. This is happening for a year. This is its own awesome thing. Now we add to it that there are Jupiter conjunctions that are occurring in August, which I'm going to get into, and that expands all your potentials astronomically and astrologically. Then you add to it that you have your birthday, and it's just like, wow, really? So good. There are so many potentials. So use your birthday wishes wisely. The sun in the sky represents what you want. So when the sun in the sky and the sun in your chart represents what you want. So when the sun in the sky and the sun in your chart come together, they open this gigantic portal for manifestation of your desires. That's what birthday wishes are about. So you have 10 birthday wishes. You can say them out loud and you can write them down, I recommend that you work on this before your birthday because you want to get the essence of what you want really, really clear and get the wording really, really clear. So you say them out loud, you write them down, you say them out loud, and the most important component to this is to feel them. I can't tell you how important this is. If you just did this and you did nothing else, you would have more of a chance of manifesting your desires. But if you've got this open portal and you have Jupiter there and it's just Goodness, this really is a time for true love, money, artistic expression, making money through artistic expression, surrounding yourself with beauty, um, just all of the things that are top on people's list for the things that they want. So the most important element is to feel and visualize as if it has already happened. I do this all the time, and I have thousands of manifestation stories. Something just happened today with this um, that I would like to use as an example. I had a fender bender a while ago and my bumper was dented and I, hadn't, I didn't deal with it. I was doing other things. I've been wanting this bumper to be dealt with and to make a long story short, in the last two weeks 
I have been seeing the bumper fixed, feeling the bumper fixed. Every time I pass by my car in the back, I say, oh, wow, I'm so excited that bumper's fixed for myself. The bumper is now fixed. Someone was passing by my house and was like, hey, I'll do that for you for some minuscule amount of money. And it's just done. It's done. The bumper is fixed. The bumper has been like that for a while, and I haven't even been paying attention to it because I have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> but as soon as I put my attention and visualization and feeling the feeling of it, time shortened and the manifesti manifestation came. So this is a little story, but it's a big deal, and it reminds me again of the importance of that element of feeling and seeing, visualizing your wishes as if they have already happened. You can cut down the amount of time between your manifestations. Now, of course, one caution with this is when we wish for something that is not ours, like it's somebody else's specifically, then that's witchcraft, and that's not a good idea to do. So I wouldn't say that you wish for somebody else's boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that. You figure out what you like about something that somebody else has and wish for that essence for you. So let's say something you like about somebody's boyfriend is that they're kind and they're loving and they're so attentive to that person. Okay, so if you feel the essence of someone being kind and attentive and loving towards you, then you will pull in your person to do that which may or may not be the same person, but you leave it open for the universe to fill in what is yours by divine right. It's a really important manifesting thing that I have learned with working with this over time. So go for the gold. Just wish in integrity and watch the magic. All right, so let's talk about these Jupiter things. Jupiter and Venus are making a conjunction around August 16th, 17th. Jupiter is the great expander, the great benefic, the bringer of luck, the bringer of opportunities the maker of things big. Venus rules love, beauty, money, aesthetics, artistic things. And so you get them together and wow, those potentials are amazing. Now since this is happening in the sign of Leo, Leo rules children and creativity and projects and fun and romance. So your chance for expansion in any of those things is huge. Again, I note if you're not trying to have children, your chances, you're very, very fertile right now. So be aware of that because many, 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 many people will give birth to many things during this time or will conceive many things at this time. And for many people, it's not going to be an actual child. It will be like a project that's like a baby to them. And it doesn't matter how it manifests. They're all energetically the same type of manifestation. But if you're not shooting for, no, shoot, oh, that's a good word. Um, if you're not going for the um, child manifestation, then watch yourself because this energy is so big and it's so much related to creativity in children that many people are going to do it even if they're not trying to. But if you are, then yay. Um, okay, so big chances for making big money, big chances for bringing in true love, big chances for coaxing more love out of the true love you've already found, more fun, more romance, more time with hobbies, more relaxing time, more money, did I say that? More capacity to make money, more self-esteem. Leos are blessed with uh, an exuding confidence, and that's, that's something really notable and awesome about Leo energy. And to some degree, a lot of that confidence is authentic. But we all have self-esteem issues that we're working on, and the instance where there's some disconnect between what is exuding and what is inside, this, this transit, these transits can really, really, really up the um, self-esteem um, energy tremendously. This Jupiter-Leo conjunction is happening in your first house of your self-esteem and of your identity. Many, many, many people will become recognized for the things that they do during this time. Um, and people who have not been recognized yet may become recognized. People who already are recognized will have more recognition. This Jupiter transit to the first house is a big time of recognition, so that runs the whole year. But then having this energy with Venus in the conjunction this month brings even more energy this month in that potential. Um, thinking of your body as a temple, yourself as a temple of the divine, 
And treating it as such is one of the best things you can do to improve your, improve your self-esteem. So when it, you go into a shrine or a place of worship, I don't know about you, but me, I'm always awestruck at how people are inspired to create such beautiful things, you know, while infused with the spirit of the divine. And um, so you go into that place, and most people aren't going to, you know, bring dirty mud in there. Most people aren't going to pee in there on the furniture or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a reverence that you take with you when you go into something that feels like a temple. So if you take that reverence and apply it to your body, so the things that you let yourself be around, the music that you take in, the food you take in, the drinks you take in, the relationships that you engage in, all of these things are ways that you interact with your body temple, the divine temple, this temple of God goddess. So this is a really big time for major self-esteem improvement. And the more you can treat your body and yourself like the Mother Earth, like the divine temple, the more you're going to create wonderful things in your life because we live in a holographic reality. So how you treat yourself is how people will come to treat you. So anyway, that's just a side note about that. But you have big energy about these potentials because of the Jupiter Venus conjunction going on in your first house. Now, some of this energy is happening in the spirit of the 12th house as well because it's happening as an, at an early degree. And so for middle and late degree Leos, this is going to be stronger, but for all Leos, this is going to be relevant and a potential. Clandestine relationships are more likely during this time. Clandestine ways to make money. So I'm not saying, I'm definitely not encouraging you to do anything illegal for money. I'm I'm hoping that you don't do something illegal for money. But there are ways you can be um, in a quiet backdrop trying to figure out a plan to make money or dealings that are not made public yet. And things that are behind the scenes are very much supported during this 12th house energy expansion, things that are going to come out but are being guarded right now. So if you have an idea that's going to make you money or you're working on a project, it might be prudent to hold off on telling everybody, hold the gold, hold the energy in the backdrop until it's really time for it to come out and then it can grow the way that you want it to. Um, and so it's kind of an odd energy because this, this energy of quiet and reclusiveness is totally opposite of the energy of Leo, which is out there and you know visible and very present outside with everybody and everything. So look to see the ways that both of these energies are coming into play. And if you feel like you need some rest because there's so much energy coursing through you, don't be afraid to sleep more. You know, you might need more rest. You might need more nutrition. You might need more new vitamins. And you might need some more quiet time and specifically time in nature as well to counteract. There's such an electric energy coursing through the Leo fields right now that you could get frazzled or burnt out more easily because it's so electric. So taking this quiet time, uh, it's a great time for retreats. Also, some of you might wind up meeting your person or having renewed love with your current relationship on a retreat. That's one way to take all of this energy and kind of combine it. Also, you might have a, a chance to make money or a chance to express yourself artistically by going on a retreat or something, you know, involved with quiet time or time in nature. You know, you could be out... Um, doing something in nature and all of a sudden have a chance synchronistic meeting with somebody who takes your business to the next level because you took the time to be out and honor that call. So things like that are going to be more prominent. So I can't see what's going on in your personal chart. Birthday time is the most fantastic time for personal reading because we can really look at the energies in your, your natal personal chart besides these general energies and help you maximize this upcoming year, help you... Um, use the energies to have the best year yet. So go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video. And definitely, when you're done listening, go sign up for my free email newsletter so that you can be uh, the first to know about my event, The Astrology of 2015 and How to Rock It. It's going to be really good. It'll be a web event. Um, and all kinds of other things that I'm involved with, you'll have 
uh, first and sometimes only access to it through that email newsletter, which is free. I know it's super free to get to. So check it out, AnnieHelpsYou.com, and have a wonderful August.